Hey, welcome back to another tutorial with me, Louise Egan from winatwordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to stop WordPress from compressing your image sizes down. And the reason why I do this is because load times are becoming a lot more important than the last few years. And Google are actually prioritizing uh, pages that have faster load times. So obviously if WordPress can compress your images, that will make your page load faster. However, if you're using very high quality images, for example, if you're a photographer, um, that's going to really make a difference to your website. So if you want to bring this back up to being 100% and have your full quality images, this is the tutorial for you. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, um, you're going to go in to your WordPress website and you want to stop WordPress from compressing down your images to make them less uh, less quality. Now, as I say, you won't, you'll see a small bit of a difference in images that aren't, that are, you know, aren't too big at, at in the first place. But for example, this image was so big in the first place and I did see a big difference, a big improvement when I actually um, did this, put this code in. So what you want to do, you want to go into your dashboard and then you're going to go into appearance and editor because you want to edit your actual team. Um, let's say leave here. So now this is my actual team folder. Uh, it'll depend on your team, but every team has a functions.php file. So what you want to do is go in here to your um, editor and all of these will be down here. All your team's files will be down the side and you want to find functions.php and click into that one. Now, um, you want to go down to the very bottom. Don't mess with anything else because you don't really don't want to break your website by taking something out. Um, I'm going to put mine at the very bottom because then I just know where it is. So go down to the very, very bottom. And I put in a little comment here just so that I know this is what it's for. And this is the code that you want to add. I will put this code in the description so you can literally just copy and paste it straight into your um, functions PHP file. So just put that in. You can see that this is changing the quality of the image. Now, most of my images are actually PNG. Um, if you if your images are JPEG, put in JPEG in here into the PNG, but I put in PNG um, and return 100. So normally it's 80%. 100% is uh, what, you know, what you want to change it to. If you want to change it to 90, if you think that your images are too high quality and it's not loading it fast enough, you can change it to 90 and play around with it and get the right. Um, one that you want and then once you're done you can click update file and there we go file edited success successfully and uh, when you go onto your front end of your website then uh, go on to maybe an incognito tab so go over here and click new incognito window and go on to your website because sometimes with the cookies and stuff it just um it won't load the most latest version for a while so make sure you go into there if you don't see a bad difference um, and you can go back into your website and just have a look. Uh, as I say, it'll make a bigger difference if, it the, if the picture was better quality in the first place. Um, so, but that's how you do it, guys, and I hope that really helped. So, as you can see, it's just a matter of adding in that little bit of code. Um, I'll actually put the code in my description if I can, um, so that you can just copy and paste it. And if I can't, I'm going to do a blog post and you can just copy and paste it from there. So, I hope this helped, guys. If you would like to get my full WordPress course, you can check out the link in my description. Um, that will basically bring you from where you are now right through to having your whole website set up and it'll just make life an awful lot easier for you while you're going through this process. So you can check that out guys and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know uh, what I can do better, let me know what, what, what sort of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. So thanks very much guys.